Before we finish, we have about 10 minutes left. We are going to talk about our book, which um, um, which is about our book, which is called Seed Folks, Seed Folks. So it is by this author, Paul Fleischman, Paul Fleischman. Um, seed, what is a seed? Do you know what a seed is? Yes, I know. Yes. So a seed is it's a seed is where um, a seed is where a plant where a plant grows from. Okay, so the beginning of a seed. Okay. And how about folks? Do you know what folks means? No. Okay. Folks means people. It is a sort of like an informal way of saying people. So sometimes we say, um, even like when we are talking to a group of people, sometimes we say, okay, folks, it's time to get going. Let's get ready, folks. Um, hi, folks. It's, it's a more sort of um, informal or relaxed way to say people. So the title of this book means Seed People, Seed Folks or Seed People. So on the cover, you can see one, two, three, four, five different people. And you also see some items. Do you know what this, what we call this item here in the, on the top between the two people? Does anyone know the name of this? No, I don't. This one is called a pitcher, pitcher, okay, which is thing that we use to pour like a drink or something like that. That one is, is usually called a um a pitcher okay what is this vegetable do you know the name of this vegetable i, I don't know <laughs> this is eggplant do you eat eggplant yep yes yeah. how do you cook it christina how do you cook it christina how do i cook uh, uh, vegetables because we love uh, green beans and uh, broccoli and um, mm, carrots, uh, you know. Nice. Do you have a garden? Do you have a garden? No, I don't have a garden. No. You mean, do you have a garden? Yes, but my garden is flower only. Flowers only. Okay, so this yeah. garden will ha the garden in this book will have flowers and it will have um, um, vegetables too. So this is binoculars. This picture, and this one here is called a funnel. A funnel. Okay, so let's read a little bit of in interesting information about the book before we start. Hmm. I will start. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read, and then I'll have you guys take over. So it says. Mm -hmm. In an interview, Paul Fleischman was asked, what inspired you to write Seed Folks? He responded by explaining that there were many things that motivated him to write this book. First of all, he was interested in writing a novel with many characters. He wanted to write a novel that could also be a play. Before Seed Folk, he had written a book with 16 characters, and he wanted to write another book in the same style. So characters means people in the book. Okay, so he wanted to have many people. Okay, Christina, why don't you read Seed Folks is a book? Mm. Can, can you, you see it? You, make it bigger? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know if I can make it bigger. Can I, Too can small? You, you say it? Uh, oh, can you read on the screen the second paragraph where oh, it says yeah, Seed sorry. Folks is a book? Okay. Yes, okay. thank you. Sorry. Seed Folks is a book about communication with. 13 main chapters. Each chapter tells the story of one chapter. chapter. 
he got the idea to write about a community garden when he was reading a newspaper article about a physiatrist who used gardening to help her patients. When he read the article, he began to think about community gardens, and he remembered being part of community gardens. Very good. Okay, Yumina, can you continue his parents? Okay. His parents also inspired, inspired. inspired him, inspired him. He talked about how his parents had turned their yard into an urban farm when he was a high school student. He remembers picking and eating fresh fruits from the tree, tree in his yard as well as having a corn, corn field. <laughs> corn field in the front of his house. In addition, he talked about how his mother planted at the bed. Veterans Administration, yes. Veterans Administration Hospital. At, at the hospital, she helped veterans. Uh, vet veterans, yes. Uh -huh. Veterans helped by teaching them how to garden, like the psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just. He had read a lot. Very good. In conclusion, many experiences in his life from both his youth and adult years led to the writing of Seed Folk. So you know this paragraph, this book is about 13 different people, 13 characters, okay? And it is about a garden and it is about how a garden can help. How does a garden help people? Or how does a garden help a community? Do you like to be in nature? Yumina and Christina, do you like nature, plants, gardening? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have a garden. I do have some vegetables. But this year I started my garden very late because it was very, very rainy in May right here we had so much rain so my yard i have to wait so now my tomato plants are very small <laughs> i'm hoping they will still grow <laughs> um so we are going to start reading there i want to show you i'm going to share my uh the blackboard screen just to show you um but there is some really nice videos on youtube of different teachers reading this book. Um, so if you look in the learning modules and week two, you will see number three is Seed Folks. So we will start reading our new novel, Seed Folks, and we will read the first two parts, Kim and Anna, Kim and Anna. It is pages one through 10, pages one through 10. If you click this list, you will be able to watch some videos um, of people reading the book. And it's very teachers reading the book and they can explain it a little bit while you are reading, okay? So for each one, there is a worksheet that we will complete. Um, for Kim, and, and I will talk a little bit more about it, I think, on Wednesday. But this is just in case you want to get started, okay? But when you read Kim, you will write a description of Kim. Like her, uh, after you read it, you will write her age, her country, ethnic background, her personality. You will have three questions. And then I want you to find three to five new words, three to five new words from that part of the book. And I want you to complete it with the word, the sentence from the novel, your guess, what does the word mean? 
and dictionary meaning. So you can look up the, in the dictionary at this link to find the meaning of the words, okay? okay? So I will explain more about it on Wednesday, but this is just in case you want to get started now. Do okay. you have a question about this part? No. No? No? Okay, sometimes when you read a book like this, it is very difficult because there are many new words. Don't translate everything. <laughs> Try to keep going, keep going, keep going. And then mm -hmm. if you need to translate a few words, like sometimes you are reading, you see it, you see, oh, there is it, the same word again. Oh, there it is again. I don't understand. Okay, translate. Look it up in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. But if you can, just keep going and listen on YouTube and read together because it helps you when you hear it and see it together. It will help you with the pronunciation, okay? okay. Ladies, thank you. This was so fun with you today. I like having a small class. <laughs> Did you like it or is it, do you feel uncomfortable with a small group? I like a, the small group because- uh, I think it's fine. Yeah, because uh, for me it's better because I feel like uh, I have uh, the teacher just for me, and I can she can tell me my wrongs or you know my mistakes and everything. And when you have a big class, it's uh, difficult when you try to focus and just one or two three people. Right. I think it's kind of, I like it. And I think it gives you more opportunity to speak and say your ideas. So I really appreciate you, both of you coming to class, I know, and being prepared for the class, participating a lot. So thank you. And I will see you on Wednesday. If you have any questions, just email me. Okay? Okay. 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 Bye, ladies. Have a good day. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.